Welcome back to another video, y'all. Today, we have the first ever duo in the movie player build series, and that is, of course, Doug Glatt and Xavier Laflemme. I am, of course, sorry for the delay on this video. However, it is a banger, and it is well worth the wait. So I greatly appreciate you watching. I greatly appreciate you boys being patient. And if you are, of course, enjoying the series, feel free to drop a sub with noties on. And let's hop right into game one with the Doug Glatt slash Xavier Laflemme build. Let's get right into game one for y'all. Here we go, fellas. We are hopping into game one. I know that it's a couple minutes into the game, but I promise y'all, y'all do not miss anything. I, for some reason, my Elgato just literally went out randomly. As soon as the game was starting, it just, my screen went black. The recording went black, but we are back now. We are here in game one. We are using the Doug Glatt build for game one in sixes and then game two we will be hopping into a game of threes where we'll be using the xavier laflemme build because like i said this is of course a two for one special so we'll be using the laflemme build and hopefully be able to score some nasty goals get some nasty dangles and all that good stuff with that build but for right now it's doug glatt and you know what we gotta do we gotta get in some fights hit some people and try and get the w because mm. I'm here to do whatever they need me to do. You know, if they need me to bleed, then I'll bleed for my team. And of course, we're going to be trying to drop our gloves every single time that we can, whether it be a dead puck on the draw or just any time if our teammate gets hurt or if we shoot an offside shot or if somebody else shoots an offside shot and we get the option to fight, you know, we will absolutely be taking that option 110% of the time. Boom, there we go. Go, go. There you go, Porkins. Yeah, let's go, Pilot Porkins. What a start from the boys. Fight me, please. Please. Yes, yes, yes. You are an absolute legend. I hope this says Knight Rider. I'm hoping it doesn't say something offensive. I'm assuming that it doesn't. But, um, yeah, this guy's a goat as long as his name's not something offensive. <laughs> oh, just kidding. Boom. Boom. Oh, what's gonna do? Oh, we got out. Alright, let's go. Put him down. Put him down, Dougie. Put him. Oh! That's a Doug Lat knockout right there if I've ever seen one. Holy. Shout out to that guy. I just saw his name says Neon Rider. Shout out to you, Neon Rider. You're an absolute freaking legend. Now, while we are sitting in the box for pretty much the rest of the first period, actually the whole rest of the first period and like 30 seconds of the second, um, this gives me a little bit of time to talk because essentially I've been trying to get a game like this pretty much for two weeks now. Um, I tried to do the Doug Glatt build alone, but between I had my birthday last week um, and I just had some other plans, went to the Flyers game, went to the Sixers game, just had a very, very, very busy week and I was not able to get six people on and I just wasn't able to record and edit the whole video for last week. But being that LaFlemme ended up winning the poll, I felt like that was a sign that, you know, a two for one video was just kind of due. And it was just necessary right now. So that's why we're going to be doing Xavier Laflemme and Doug Glatt. However, I tried with a six of squad a couple times. I tried to have somebody else on the Laflemme build and or, and or the Dougie Glatt build. And it just didn't work out the way that I wanted to. So And I couldn't also get six on all the time. So I just decided, screw it. We're going to try and do it a different way. That's why I'm doing it this way. Where Doug Glatt is in game one. And Xavier Laflemme will be in game two. I know it kind of sucks. However, I feel like I'll be able to show off the Laflemme build way better in threes than I would be able to in sixes. Hopping in the second period, y'all. And we are in the box for about another 30 seconds. So pretty much next stoppage, we should be out now. Here we go, fellas. We are finally back after the very long break that we just had. Now, this gives me a perfect time to bring up the fact that the positions were a little bit difficult to decide for these players because, you know, while I thought, of course, my first instinct was Doug Glatt is a defenseman and you would think enforcer defenseman automatically. Now, however, there is the one scene with Ross Ray and Xavier Laflemme where he lines up on the wing on the faceoff circle, if you guys remember that scene. Ray, now, 
the weird thing is though he's always back on defense he's always the last man back there's a couple times when you know he was the last man back and couldn't get to the bench or couldn't get over for like the line change or something so that definitely leads you to believe that he is absolutely a d-man but it's the same goes for little i also wasn't sure whether i should make him a winger or a center because of that same reason Oh, you're lucky, dude, because he was about to die. And boom goes what the dynamite. What is happening? Super sorry about that, y'all. Somehow, we are still up 2-0 with a minute and a half left. I have no idea what's been going on with my Elgato tonight. That is now the second time that that's happened this game. And for some reason, like, only this game. It makes no sense at all. Boom. Oh, no. Shoot it. Yup. Yup, there we go. Let's go. I knew it, dude. I was waiting on that opportunity. Come on, fight me. Come on. I, I won't I won't even put you in a headlock this time. Oh no. No! No, I can't lose that. Soiled it! Soiled it! Soiled it! Soiled it! Starting the third period, y'all, and I can't lie. I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed in myself. This was my opportunity. The game where, you know, I'm finally getting the fights that I needed with this damn Doug Glatt build, and I'm selling them. I should have won that last fight, and the only one I have to blame is myself because I played it stupid. I should have just put him in a headlock, or I should have just knocked him out. But when he started dodging and stuff, I just started playing stupid, and yeah, I paid the price for it. However, luckily, Doug Glatt did lose one fight to Anders Kane, of course, so we do got to get our redemption. Luckily, the timing on this is easy once again because, I mean, we went in with 0.6 seconds left in the second period, so we will be out literally with 15 minutes left in the third, pretty much. All right, I need to... Get the damn... Oh... That's not a way to do it. That is not a way to do it. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Okay, we need to touch this puck. We need to touch this puck. Oh, man. What a dummy. Hey, would it be a Doug Glatt build if we also weren't making really bad untimely plays? You know, like giving up breakaways for them to win the game or taking really bad penalties? Yeah, no. That, that seems like something Dougie Glatt would do. Wait. My back? No, I'm still in here for a no Oh, what? Did I get two penalties or something? How am I in here for another? We got a penalty at the same time. I guess they I guess they um add up or continuous. I don't know. That's kind of crazy. My back? I'm back. Oh my gosh. Thank God. I don't know what I was in the box for, but that was so annoying because I literally got a tripping penalty and somehow I was in the box the whole time. Come on. Come on, set it. Alright. I need to make my way to their blue line. Let somebody... No! No, is it not going to let me fight? What the hell? It's not letting me fight. That's an L, boys. L, chill. L, chill. L, chill, fellas. L, chill. Boom, bitch. Might as well just take one more big hit, run at him. Now, while it does suck, we were not able to get our get back and get that best two out of three series against our boy Neon Rider. Kudos to him. He did beat us in that second fight. We should have absolutely won, but y'all can see you can absolutely fight on this build. This is 100% a Doug Glatt type build. So let's get right into game two where we'll be playing on the Xavier LaFlem build in threes. Then we'll get right into how to make both the Doug Glatt and the Xavier LaFlem build. Let's get right into game two for y'all boys. Here we go, fellas. Hopping into game 
two this time with the xavier laflem build however as y'all see we do have a squad with us and we are playing clubs it was a little bit difficult to get six of us together but getting three or four of us together was definitely a lot easier and way more ideal so that is what we decided to do hopefully we're able to put up a laflem like game this game and Ooh. so as y'all see as well we do have the boys we have anders kane at center this game shout out to the boys shano for that we have maddie on the goon build the dougie glatt build still in this game even though we are running three so you can expect him to go for a lot of hits and stuff like that and then of course i'm on the laflem build we do have an ai tendy this game unfortunately like i was just mentioning but at the end of the day, it's not going to matter because we're going to shit on these dudes when I score. <laughs> Bang. Oh, what a shot by LaFlem. Holy. Oh, yeah. Here we go. LaFlem about to take over. Oh no, no, yes he is, let's go baby, LaFlem is taken over just like in the movie, this is exactly what I was talking about y'all, I tried to show off this LaFlem build in sixes, and when I tell y'all I just could not make plays like that in sixes, I just don't play sixes as much, and I couldn't make the open ice plays like that like I wanted to, hop into the second period after a phenomenal first period, period from the boys especially xavier laflem so this laflem build is of course you know the non-alcoholic non-drinking non-smoking doing drugs all that good stuff um xavier laflem you know when he's at his absolute best point when he's got doug glad to back him up he's not scared of getting injured again you can call it pre-injury or you can call it post-injury i guess with doug glad either or whatever floats your boat either way he's pretty much that same player um although i guess i could say he's maybe a little bit more selfish on this build being that i don't have a passing ability or anything so you could maybe argue that this was pr uh pre um pre doug glatt laflem because he definitely did go through kind of like a character change and played way less selfish by the end of the movie considering you see him have a good amount of assists now as we're wrapping up this second period i had to say these dudes jerseys are giving me huge devil stadium series vibes which by the way i will be there this saturday and i will be getting content so be on the lookout for that be sure you're following the tiktok instagram and or youtube sub tier make sure you check out the shorts so that you do not miss any of that content because i promise y'all i got some heaters coming from that links will be down in the description below y'all hopping into the third period y'all and we do of course need to start this period talking about the movie ranking the updated list now i know you could technically make the argument that happy gilmore is of course a hockey movie or i mean a golf movie i apologize but i'm gonna be real in my opinion it just is better overall than goon and i know we're technically talking hockey movies but i'm talking better overall hockey movies so being that happy gilmore does involve hockey and constantly mention it i do have to keep that at the number one spot and oh no oh my goodness that would have been so nasty damn good play by them good play like i was saying before i almost gave myself a stroke with that play um i do have to keep happy gilmore in the one spot and given the choice between the two goon movies i'd say the first one is honestly better than the second in my opinion the first one was just more hockey or in oriented and the second one was just more like kind of like a drama and stuff to me i'm sure most y'all probably feel the same way not that it was a bad one i definitely still think it was a very good movie but that leaves happy gilmore at one that leaves goon at two and goon last of the enforcers at number three for our list <sighs> 
Here we go, boys. Starting into OT. And listen, we had a good little lead, but kudos to these dudes. They made a good comeback. But it is now our time to take over and win this damn game. Like I just said, see exactly how we drew it up. That totally was not supposed to be a pass to Anders Kane there. Absolutely incredible game from the boys. 3-2 W, three goals, no assists from Xavier Laflemme. Now, I was actually, of course, trying to get an assist on that last game winner because he does, of course, get a game winning assist in the movie on that one time shot in the slot. So that's what I was trying to recreate. However, um, yeah, sometimes things don't always go according to plan. So we did end up getting the Hattie, but he was kind of a selfish player throughout most of the movie. So I was playing a little bit selfish there in those games. Like I said, that's also why he doesn't have a passing ability, but let's get down to why I made both builds the way that I made them. We're going to start with the Doug Glad build. Then we'll get right into Xavier LaFlemme right after. Let's get right into Doug Glad for y'all. Now to recreate Doug Glatt in ASHL, we of course need to make him the same type of build that Cappy Gilmore was, and it is of course an enforcer defenseman. Now he is listed at six foot two, 220 pounds online, and I am of course talking about Sean William Scott, the actor who does play Doug Glatt. However, we're going to make him six foot two, 270 pounds, and the only reason being is you see we get that increased fighting and body checking and that's of course the biggest main focus with this doug glatt build he does of course shoot right-handed and abilities and boosts we will come back to as always now first for your technique attributes for doug glatt you're of course going to add five to speed the only reason being is because i ended up taking five off of literally everything else in this category because this all has to do with his shooting and skating which he's not very good at shooting and he's not a very strong skater at all and he never really becomes one throughout either of the two movies so i could have really just taken five off everything however i didn't really want to be stuck with 74 speed so i did decide to give him plus five speed so we do have 84 so the build is at least usable in ash Next for Dougie's power attributes, you just want to add five to your endurance to be able to go how long he does in those fights. You definitely need to be able to have some good, strong endurance for that. Then add three to acceleration. Reason being, same thing as speed. I wanted to make it relatively usable in ESHL. Then you want to take five off puck control because he is absolutely terrible when with controlling the puck. Then you want to take three off wrist shot and slap shot power. Reason being is I could have maybe taken five off both of them. You could make the argument for for that however i'd imagine with his size and strength that when he does take a slap shot or take a wrist shot it is relatively hard so i want to at least give him a little bit of slap shot and wrist shot after that for doug glatt's play style attributes of course you just want to add five to body checking then take five off everything else as this is pretty much just offense and defensive awareness which he really does not have a lot of if any at all and passing which he isn't really good at and stick checking which he doesn't really play defense besides hitting very much so that's why we took five off everything besides body checking now for doug glatt's tenacity attributes you of course just want to add five to shot blocking because he literally wins the game for them blocking multiple shots on the goal line saving the game with his face and of course that leads us into adding three to durability because in order to do that and come back after literally i think the next game or two you got to be pretty damn durable to do that then you want to take five off your hand eye and take three off your strength i know doug glatt isn't relatively a weak player and we may have been able to keep his strength off if if it was possible however we couldn't because i felt like increasing the shot blocking and durability was just more of an necessity and for your last attributes for doug glatt your tactics attributes you just want to add five to fighting and two to discipline reason being i know with a goon you would normally think hey let's lower their discipline all the way however doug glatt is a very disciplined goon because his coach tells him don't go out there and look for shit don't go out there and start fights and he does not go out there and start fights whereas if it was a ross ray build we would be doing the exact opposite and tang his discipline because that is exactly what ross ray did now we are of course going to take five off face offs and five off deking because he doesn't play center and his stick handling is just not good at all now for dougie's zone ability we are of course going to go with truculence i mean that's the only one that really fits him because he's not not very strong with the puck he don't really see him reverse hit at all i don't think at all if i'm not mistaken 
and bouncer i mean maybe you could make the argument for this one but truculence is absolutely the most fitting for douglas for his superstar abilities we are of course going to go with total eclipse for the first one reason being he isn't very useful on offense however with a big body like that you can go stand in front of the goalie and they do make him do this a couple times which does of course lead to him getting a game winning goal off of his ass which is super sick and it all leads because of the fact that he is standing in front trying to screen the goalie then for the second one we are of course going to go with ice pack reason being like i mentioned with that scene of him blocking the pucks and saving the game with his face and also not really being injured off that it all goes together so well and fits so perfectly with this ice pack ability ability so it felt perfect for him and finally for doug glad's boost yes i'm sure you could absolutely guess the two we are going to go with it's going to be booming hits for the first one and of course it is going to be durable fighter for the second one we want to maximize his fighting maximize his hitting because those are the two things that doug glad is of course best at now let's get right into how to make the xavier laflem build as well for y'all now for the xavier laflem build for his player class slash archetype, I decided to go with Dangler. Reason being is you see him dangle people out of their skates a bunch of times. You don't really see him sniping the puck, and he definitely don't see him setting up his teammates a whole bunch. So I felt like Dangler was the best archetype for an Xavier Laflame build. Now, for his height, there is a couple different heights that I saw online, but the overall consensus does seem to be 5'11". Now, I could not find his... His weight anywhere his actual weight was not listed anywhere but regardless it does not matter because we are going to make him 160 pounds because he is a pretty fast skater so we want to maximize his speed so we want the lowest amount of weight to do that he does of course shoot left-handed and abilities and boost will come back to as always first for technique attributes for xavier laflem you are of course going to go with three for your speed then you're going to add one to agility and one to wrist shot accuracy then you're going to take five off balance and three off slap shot accuracy reason being is you see him have a pretty good shot like i mentioned he is a pretty fast skater as you see multiple times in the movie he is pretty agile and very good at moving in and out without getting hit however his balance isn't the best because when he does kind of get bumped and stuff you can see he does get bumped pretty hard so i would say his balance isn't the greatest and you don't really see him shoot a whole lot of slap shots so i felt like that was the only other thing that we could lower in this category next for his power attributes you are going to add three to wrist shot power two to acceleration and one to puck control then we're going to take five off both endurance and slap shot power because like i said we don't really see him take a whole lot of slap shots in the movie and endurance was kind of the only other thing that i felt like we could lower after that for left lem's play style attributes we're going to add five to passing five to offensive awareness and one to body checking because he does become a pretty decent passer by the end of the movie he is pretty good at setting up his teammates when he does want to and he is very aware on the offensive end when he wants to be and when his focus is there and he does lay out a really big body check on anders kane at the end of the second movie so i did want to credit that the tiniest little bit but obviously we couldn't increase his body checking more than one then we're going to take five off stick checking and five off defense awareness as we really don't see him play a whole lot of defense in either of the movies for his tenacity attributes you are going to add five to hand eye then take five off shot blocking and four off durability because he does of course face that really bad injury when his career does go downhill for a little bit before doug glatt comes along and of course helps him reignite it then shot blocking once again i just felt like we could lower this because we don't really see him block a whole lot of shots in the movies and finally for his tactics attributes we are going to add three to deking two to face off says like i did mention during the gameplay he does take a couple of face offs throughout the movies and he's not necessarily terrible at them i would say so i wanted to credit that at least a tiny bit even though we are playing him on the wing in this video then we are going to take five off fighting and five off his discipline as well now going back to abilities a four lift lem zone ability i decided to give him elite edges while you could make the argument for maybe ankle breaker and potentially close quarters because you do see him break some ankles and definitely make a lot of shots i felt like elite edges was the best representer for his zone ability reason being is he just seems like a very agile skater and is very good at using his agility to avoid hits now for his superstar abilities the fact that he is super fast and does 
does deke a lot of people out we of course did have to give him ankle breaker and show that off a little bit and for his second one we did of course give him close quarters as well there may have been a couple other ones like maybe it's tricky we could have used instead i actually debated using skilled up because there is that one scene in the movie where it looks like he goes for a Michigan, but I couldn't necessarily tell if the puck gets knocked off his stick and he kind of smacks it to himself, or maybe it looks like he potentially Zegers is it to himself, and I'm not exactly 100% sure, so I really debated using skilled up as an ability, but I decided not to, and I went with closed quarters instead because we do see him take a lot of very close, very accurate, very hard wrist shots. And finally, for Laflemme's boost, we are, of course, going to go with power skating, just to give him a little bit more speed because, like I said in the movie, he is a very fast skater, and his second one is actually going to be controlled deking just to increase his deking a little more his stick handling is absolutely the best part of his game and they show that very much so throughout the movie so i wanted to highlight that as much as possible and that is going to wrap it up for the doug Latt and xavier laflem goon movie duo if you did enjoy the video and you are enjoying the series please feel free to drop a like comment any other players from any of your favorite hockey movies that you want to see me recreate in ashl down below and sub with notice on so you don't miss your favorite movie players and nhl players over on youtube shorts I greatly appreciate you boys watching. I appreciate you boys being patient for the delay. And I will see y'all fellas in the next one. Peace.